the University of Alaska has prepared a fabulous Christmas dinner and I have been asked to select the wines to pair with the dinner. First of all, I would like to say that I don't think, believe Americans drink enough sparkling wine. I think everybody should start off their Christmas celebration with a bottle of sparkling wine or champagne. I have selected um, Veuve Clicquot, which is a champagne from France, and it actually pairs beautifully with their grilled romaine salad that also has oranges and blue cheese. The next item on the menu is a chopped apple salad with a raspberry vinaigrette. And because the apples have a lot of acidity, they're very tart, I selected a wine that is also very tart. It is a wine from New Zealand. It's called Mills Reef Sauvignon Blanc. So the varietal is Sauvignon Blanc and it'll go beautifully with the apple salad. The entree for the University of Alaska's culinary dinner is a roasted stuffed pork loin. I have selected a wine from Sonoma. It's the producer is Artessa, and it is a beautiful Pinot Noir. The Pinot Noir would go beautifully with the pork. It's kind of a light, lighter style meat, and it's stuffed with dates and apples. Again, this wine would just work beautifully. The last item on the menu is the Yule Log, and it is a white sponge cake Yule Log with a chocolate ganache frosting. Pairing white and chocolate is sometimes difficult, but I believe this wonderful little dessert wine produced by the Robert Mondavi Winery. It's called Moscato de Oro, and it is a half bottle, and it just has a hint of sweetness to finish off the meal with the wonderful Yule Log and the Moscato de Oro. I have selected two wines that um, don't necessarily pair with the university's menu, but I believe a lot of families will be having prime rib, and so if you're one of those, um, families who enjoy eating prime rib or just some, some good old-fashioned beef with your Christmas dinner. I've selected a J. Lore Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from the area of Paso Robles in um, California. And um, very moderately, all these wines are very moder moderately priced. They're available at your local wine merchant. Uh, the other Cabernet Sauvignon I've selected is a Dry Creek, Dry Creek Vineyard from the Dry Creek area of Sonoma. And this is a little bit heavier in style than the J. Lord. It's also a little bit more expensive, but I wanted to present two options for those of you who are choosing to have beef with your dinner. I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Lavelle's Bistro.